Hello friends, how are you doing? Today we will learn together how to apply for visa for India step by step. In this video, we will be explaining the visa policy of this country, how to fill the application form, how and where to apply for the visa, all travel rules due to COVID-19, all the required documents that you will need while applying, and in the end, we'll ask you a question that we will discuss together in the comments. So make sure you watch this video till the end. But before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any inquiry or question, please write it down there in the comment section below so if we will look together at the visa policy map of india we will find that only few countries like bhutan and nepal can have access because they signed a freedom of movement with india the rest of the world well uh, almost all the countries of south america united states uh, mexico and all european uh, countries russia and many countries in uh, south africa uh, many african countries but mainly south africa botswana and the surrounding countries and also australia those countries can apply for electronic visa for 30 or 60 or 90 or even 180 days to uh, stay in india for the rest of the world you will need to apply for visa through uh, embassy and i would like also to mention that countries like uh, Japan, United Arab Emirates, and Korea, they can have visa on arrival. So, in general, either you will apply for visa through the embassy or you will apply for the visa online um, depending on your country. Well, if we will look together, this is the official site for applying for visa for India, India visa online dot gov dot India and here you can choose the option depending on your situation either you fill the application form online here in order to submit it later to your embassy or you apply for the e-visa here and pay the fees online and by paying the fees online then your visa will be uh, generated immediately so we will check both options together so let's start together with the first option which is filling uh, the regular paper uh, the regular online form from here okay so uh, those are the procedures first you have to apply online then submit your uh, documents at the visa application center or at indian mission in your country then you will receive both your passport and your visa and here are your options like a regular paper visa application or to complete a partially filled uh, regular paper visa uh, application in, ca in case you started one and you didn't complete it and okay here like to check your visa uh, status and else so you will have to click first here uh, regular visa paper visa application okay so here in this section this is your online visa application you have first to select your country let's say that i'm applying from egypt and my indian mission is the embassy the indian embassy in cairo my nationality i will say egypt also let's maintain with egypt and date of birth okay assuming that that's my date of birth for example email id oh, re-enter email id okay expected date of arrival let's say okay the end of this month visa type i would like to have a tourist visa and please enter the above text okay purpose okay tourism and please enter above text okay it will be e7 b t and then click continue so let's start filling the details surname as per passport given name after that have you ever changed your name click uh, the box if yes okay gender 
um, male town country we agreed to will keep with Egypt okay citizenship I the national ID number okay if and here they are telling you if not applicable write in a but if applicable please write your national ID number religion okay like Baha'i or Buddhism or whatever write write, uh, write your religion uh, okay any visible identification marks like any special mark in your body let's say a scar scar over face okay educational qualification okay post graduate okay did you acquire nationality by birth okay yes by birth then you will give your passport details your passport details one two three four five six place of issue let's say Cairo okay date of issue okay the beginning of this month date of expiry okay after seven years not seven years five years okay any other valid passport identification no country region of issue okay we will stick to Egypt okay no no I choose no I'm sorry <laughs> this is the only passport i have okay then you can save and temporary exit or save and continue let's click save and continue okay your present address okay town country egypt state zip code okay phone number not necessary mobile number not necessary email address okay click here for same address okay and uh, family name father name nationality okay for nationality egypt and and then previous nationality no place of birth country of birth egypt okay mother details okay national nationality okay let's see the same country just fill your own details i just want to show you all the things step by step previous nationality region egypt okay place of birth country region of birth okay um okay egypt egypt okay applicants um, marital status okay let's say single where your grandfather Pakistan national no okay uh, profession occupation details of uh, details of applicants okay I would like to choose an employee engineer okay let's give it engineer okay employee your name business address phone number not necessary all the start sections must be filled okay uh where are you in a military same military post security organization no okay then save and continue no thanks oh yeah please provide at least one contact number okay two three four five six seven eight nine okay hopefully it will be enough okay details of visa okay tourist visa please uh places likely to be visited delhi okay duration of visa i would like to have for 30 days number of entry single purpose of visit tourism expected date of journey okay uh ports of arrival uh and andera gandhi international uh, airport expected port port of arrival in india of exit in india okay let's say also the same port okay moving after that to the next section okay have you ever visited india before yes or no depending on your situation has permission to visit or to extend to stay in india ever been refused i'll say no okay uh, countries visited in last 10 years okay give information okay if exists 
uh, have you visited SAA RC countries except your own country during the last three years which is the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation Countries Malaysia Indonesia Brunei so if you yes, say yes if no say no okay uh, reference reference name in India if you uh, okay for reference name you will give the name of your um, hostel or the hotel you are going to stay there the address the street the state the district New Delhi phone one two three four five six seven eight nine in Egypt AA address four one two three four five six seven eight nine save and continue okay and now you have some security questions have you ever been arrested no have you ever been refused entry no have you ever been engaged in human trafficking no have you ever been engaged in cyber crime no have you ever uh, by any means or mediums expressed views that justify or provide no have you thought as a political no I will say I hereby after I hereby I will say save and continue and then you can either upload a photo or click skip and continue of course I'll upload a photo choose file to upload the photo okay and I'll click here upload the photo okay crop and save okay save and continue and now i can i want to confirm the details let's check all the details together and you can of course edit you can click modify to edit any of those details if you want to edit any and this is your application id number then click verify and continue and after it's all finished now you have an application id this is your application id after submission and you can open your application it gets downloaded automatically but you can click print form also here and you will need to print this paper because this is the paper after printing it you have to fill the date is automatically filled but you have to put your signature here and this is a paper that you will be taking with you uh, to the embassy uh, so you can apply and finish your application so if you belong to one of the country that need to fill the visa e-form uh, the visa e-form is exactly the same way um, like uh, for, for the paper visa like the same questions the same process but the only difference like first you will have to apply online then you will have to pay uh, the e-visa online then you will have after paying the visa it will take maximum two days uh, within two days you will receive your ETA online the electronic travel authorization and using this electronic travel authorization you'll be able to travel to India so if you want to submit an e-visa you will just have to click here submit an uh, e-visa no no this is a sample I'm very sorry apply here for e-visa oh this is so funny uh, apply here for e-visa and it is the same process remember the same things that we did while applying for uh, for a hard for a visa through the embassy you will do the same thing choose your country your passport number all the details and after that you will fill all the details the same way the only difference that in the end you will have a payment wizard where you will have to submit uh, to fill your the details of your credit card or your debit card using visa or mastercard uh, or credit card and you will just make your uh, payment and uh, i want to tell you something because these days um the visa the online visa for india is for free but maybe you'll see this video later uh, after like a time or something so at that time they will start to charge money for the visa but if you apply these days you have to know that the visa for india the online visa for india is for free as they are encouraging um, 
tourism for India and this is all about the e-visa. So now regarding to COVID-19, there are some rules that you have to follow before traveling to India. This is, uh, this is from the official Ministry of Health and Family Welfare website and this paper is telling, giving you information, it's very new uh, paper, 10th of February 2022. And if you are planning to travel to India, so they are giving you like some instructions this ABC ones they're so important. All travelers should submit a complete and functional information in self-declaration form on the online air Soviet portal. So you have just to, to click here. Okay. And here at Air Soviet, you just you can uh, click here uh, fill self-declaration form and by clicking fill self-declaration form okay okay it's just it's already open so you have to give your full name date of birth gender flight uh, number arriving in india seat number and bnr number and your nationality your uh, passport number and you have also to upload a passport a copy you have also to give uh, a data date of arrival country of departure are you taking uh, a, a connecting domestic flight and here you will have to upload a, a vaccination certificate okay you will have to upload it uh, here and you'll have to upload also rt bcr negative certificate taken maximum um, 72 hours before departure and you have to give the location of final vaccination dose and the date of final vaccination dose and also the date uh, of RT-PCR test taken. This is the site, New Delhi Airport. And you will also give like still city of the Barsher, first airport of entry, first airport of entry state, union territory, final destination, house number. You can see all these details. You'll just have to fill. Okay, final destination, bin code. Okay, whatever you can fill, you can fill. Mobile number, um, uh, alternate contact number, email ID, and you have to give some information about your status. Are you uh, experiencing any of the following fever, code, and uh, are you suffering from any of these things, uh, diabetes, uh, cancer, any of those diseases? Uh, how many passengers are traveling? Details of the countries visited in the last 14 days how many passengers are traveling and then you have to click i agree i agree like you have to like verify everything and to submit so where did i get this information okay here guidelines for international travelers that you have to fill this part okay so you uh, here there's something i would like to clarify either you give a certificate of negative COVID-19 uh, report or a certificate of complete full primary vaccination. So either that or that. You don't have to upload both of them. This or uh, that. And those are the regulations uh, during, uh, before traveling and before boarding. Okay, those are like uh, just... Um, those are just some more informations uh, like how to take care of yourself during the flight and on arrival what to do okay I will leave this link for you so you shall read it and review it but mainly don't forget to fill that declaration because without filling this declaration you will not be able to uh, you will not be allowed to enter the country as they said. I would like also to tell you that there are some countries who are allowed and uh, uh, to upload uh, a primary vaccination schedule completion certificate. For example, if we see here, let's look for Egypt, for example, I'll apply it from Egypt, for example, Egypt is not included. That means that I will have to do the PCR test, so you will have to check your country here first from where did i get it i get it from here the list of countries regions and respect of which primary vaccination schedule completion certificate is allowed to be uh, uploaded so if your country is not listed between those 
countries then you will have to provide a PCR test. So what are the travel documents that you need to prepare before applying for the visa? Speaking about your passport, your passport must be original and it must not be older than 10 years with at least six months of remaining validity and with at least two blank visa pages for the stamps. In many cases, you will need also a passport photocopy. It might be one copy or more than one and it's preferred to be colored and both data page and photo page must be shown if separated. In some cases, you might be required to photocopy every single page of your passport. Passport. But in general, only the data page and the photo page are the needed ones. Speaking about the personal pictures, you will need at least two personal pictures. Sometimes only one is needed, other times three pictures are needed, but in general, they are only two. They must be new, not older than six months. It should be clear and show your full face. And it is preferred to be with white background. And you should give normal and neutral expressions. No head or face covering is acceptable except for religious reasons. Speaking about the visa application form, in general cases, you need Need only one copy of the visa application form but sometimes you might be required to submit two copies or even three visa forms are different from a country to another in general cases you should print it and fill it manually but many countries now are providing their application form in an online platform so you can fill the application form online and after that you can print it and sign it anyway for the application form you just fill it as we do in the video in most of the visa application processes you will be required to provide a proof of status for example if you are an employee you will have to provide a letter from your employer or from your HR department mentioning your name, your work detail, and your salary. And both address and contact numbers should be mentioned also in that letter. And all letters must have an original signature and a stamp. But in case you are the owner of the company or you run your own business, then your commercial registry and your tax card must be presented. But if you are a student in a school or a college, an enrollment letter should be provided from your university or your school. In some certain cases, you might be applying from a country different than your own country. At that moment, you will need to provide a proof of a legal status, which is a certificate of legal residence in this country. And in some cases, a valid residence visa for this country can be also accepted. You will also need to provide a proof of sufficient funds, which is a bank statement stating your balance for at least six months. The original bank statement must show your name and should be signed and stamped by the bank representatives. And remember that cash will not be accepted as a proof of fund. You should also provide a flight reservation. It could be an initial booking, but in some minor cases, you will need to provide a confirmed booking. And remember that this flight reservation must include a return ticket. So let me show you a short tutorial in how to book your flight. And we will use this site, skyscanner.net. All right, starting with our site, this part is a little bit boring, but we will see what we can do. First, you have to select what type of a flight you want, a return flight, like two ways going and returning or one way flight or multi-city and let me show you an option if you would like to change the language you can change it from here you can choose your language you can choose your country you can choose your currency whatever fits you all right so assuming that you have for example a travel plan you're moving between different cities so you can choose this multi-city option you can add different cities here and you can adjust your date, date of arrival date of departure and you can book all these tickets at once, which is a very great option. But let's just assume you are moving from only one city to another and you want to have a return of flight going and turning back. So uh, assuming you are going from Istanbul, of course, you can choose whatever you want. If it's in Istanbul or Surat or whatever airport it is and returning, what is your uh, destination? Where are you going? You're going to Delhi or you're going to uh, Tbilisi or, uh, or whatever Georgia sorry Georgia Tbilisi and here you will have to choose your departure date and here you'll have to choose your return date and here you have to choose your cabin class are you going on economy class premium economy business class first class or what and you're an adult okay you have any children with you all right and here okay now you can search flights once you click search flights all the flights will appear in front of you you can choose whatever flight you want you can go with the best or the cheapest or the fastest but it's almost the same here but of course the price will change depending on the destination and also it will change depending on the date so let's click this uh, flight for example 
and now will appear in front of us let's check the details of this flight and for this flight you can book it from different sites you can uh, book it directly from skyscanner or you can go to any of those sites to book it but yeah we will book it from skyscanner it is the cheapest anyway let's click book but wait before booking let's see the details of each flight okay it's a direct flight from istanbul to tbilisi and it's a direct flight from tbilisi to istanbul so by clicking on these arrows you can see the details of each uh, flight let's click book and here you can see the dates okay you're going departure okay going returning and the date and now click book so once you click booking your trip appears in front of you and the total price appears in euros why because they set their prices here in euro in sky scanner so now you can see the details okay you have one cabin page you have one checked page now let's click next and see more about the details and the checkout so in the end what you need to do is to add a contact details which is an email and a phone number and after that you will have to add a traveler which is your name your middle name your last name and in the end you will have to click bay and by clicking bay you can do your payment and congratulations you booked your flight you will also need to provide a proof of accommodation it could be a confirmed hotel reservation or an invitation from a host in this country or an invitation from an organization you are visiting in this country for a hotel or hostel an initial booking is acceptable but in some minor cases you might need to provide a confirmed booking and anyway the name of your hotel must be mentioned and the address and the contact number but in case you are invited by a person either the letter of invitation should be mailed directly directly to the embassy or to be submitted by you are combined by a copy of the passport of that inviting person there are different sites that you can use to book a hotel or a hostel but let me show you a fast tutorial how to book your hostel from booking.com so this is our site booking.com first you have to specify where are you going let's say i'm going to istanbul i want to have istanbul okay i'm traveling okay for example check in okay let's say at that date and check out let's say at that date and i want one adult one room and let's click search all right by clicking search okay they are giving me all the locations and they are giving me the price here in egyptian pound let's assume i would like to change my currency i will change my currency from here i will choose usd dollars and now the prices are here usd dollars for the full period those things in the side will help you for your choice you can filter by your budget or your popular filter or health and safety whatever interests you more star rating whatever it is but there is an interesting option here also that you can arrange all of these things depending on price if you are uh, a low budget traveling person so we can rearrange it according to price lowest first and let's see the price lowest first for the full period and you can see that we are having very good prices in somehow okay good quality also we can see also we can check for better quality okay still good price for very good quality let's check availability okay i like that one it looks old and only five beds left at this price so you are booking a bed in dormitory and one bunk bed see availability once you click see availability the whole apartment or the whole place appears in front of you you can see all the details of this place and you can here start choosing the availability like you can like 
change the dates and the most popular facilities here that non-smoking rooms free wi-fi 24 hours front desk terrace and heating also because sometimes istanbul gets very cold they are also giving you here some selections like for example bed in mail dormitory room and you can see all the details here like okay air conditioning free wi-fi shower toilet uh, heating hair dryer and of course if you want any other option like comfort double or twin room or classic double or twin room or standard travel room whatever you want but let's just go for the cheapest and select only one bed you can select of course more than one bed and they give you different things like free cancellations and no prepayment needed you can pay directly at the property so if you in case you would like to cancel it they are giving you a specific time and a specific date in that date till that date you are free to you can cancel this booking for free just click i will reserve once you click i will reserve here you are filling your details they are giving all the booking details it is for four nights and this uh, price is 35 dollars and here you will have to enter your details all your details and bid in mail dormitory room okay you'll have to give your full name and if you have any special request or something and also here give your arrival time so you have just to review all these parts and in the end you will click final details by clicking final details you will review again all your details and you will confirm your booking once your booking is confirmed you will receive an email in your email like that stating the check-in details as a check-out detail as a duration of a stay the phone number and the address of the place and all the details and this is the page that you will have to print and take with you to the embassy while applying for the visa many countries also especially the schengen area countries require you to provide a traveling insurance and you have to be careful and to apply through the companies that are accepted officially in these countries for example in case for schengen area countries there are some certain specifications for this travel insurance like the insurance coverage must be at least 30 000 euros and in general cases Cases you can apply for this insurance online now let's look together as a travel insurance company those are some travel insurance companies you can use any of those websites to apply for as a travel insurance but since I know that travel insurance is a little bit confusing for most of people I selected two companies and we will see together how to apply for travel insurance through those two companies applying for travel insurance is quite confusing for many people but here i selected the site europeinsurance.eu and let's see how to apply for travel insurance first you have to select your main destination in europe which is i selected france the start date the end date let's say you're just staying for one month and you want this insurance for one month and here you write your date of birth then get a quota okay so now there are two types of travel insurance the first one is basic and it costs 19 uh, the 19 euros per month and it covers more than 60 000 euros which is required because for travel insurance you have to apply for something more than or equals to 30 000 euros so i will select this one and here if you want to extend but just let's keep it like that for this basic one i will select it over here and now i will have to fill my details my the insured person my name and the policy holder also if it is the same person though the same also details my own details and important uh, statements just some statements and in the end you will get to the payment so this travel insurance uh, which will cover more than 60 000 euros for one month it's just only 19 euros let's check another site which is axashengen.com which is quite expensive uh, site and here they give you different periods like for Schengen low uh, cost Schengen Europe travel Schengen multi-trip get a quota okay so for the prices here okay let's first you need to click get a quota over here for the cheapest one okay and here they will ask you the Schengen low cost 
um, they will ask you about the start date and the end date of your travel so my first date is this one all right 12 and my last date let's say will be 11th of april also for one month and this one for 31 days and it's a little bit it's not a little bit expensive it is expensive and it covers uh, only up to 30 thousand euros but you know the difference is sometimes about um the rate of the company and uh, also uh, the categories they are uh, covering in that travel insurance but here i'm just showing you how to oh, choose how how to apply because this is because choosing the category uh, the options is something depending on you but many people are just having some problems what is the travel insurance how to apply through the travel insurance so all these other details i will leave to you i'm just showing you how to apply through the site and what is the real cost uh, of the travel insurance by saying 30 thousand dollars we don't mean that you should have this balance in your bank or to prove that you have it because some people think uh, so those who are not really having experience with travel insurance then here you click continue and after you click continue you click here for the subscriptions you will have to fill all your details and after filling your details you will um, make your payment and in the end you will get a confirmation of your travel insurance and that's how you apply for travel insurance through this website so now my question to you what do you think about india as a tourist destination is it a best destination for tourism or you are one of those who believe that india is a little bit dangerous and you shouldn't go uh, to visit there please tell me your opinion in the comments down there and see you in the next video